October is National Bullying Prevention Month, a sensitive topic, but an important one. Drawing from his own experience as a boy touched by autism, a local teacher wrote a book about acceptance and the value of embracing someone's differences. Lindsay Buckingham has his inspiring story. Number 14, what do Colonial Public Schools use the New England Primer for? At first glance... It's to teach reading and writing. This is how you see David Petrovic, an engaged middle school social studies teacher quizzing his students at St. Mary in Chardon. If you know him like we do, David is an accomplished theater actor, motivational speaker, and devoted autism advocate on a mission in his new book, See Me, to encourage people to embrace differences. See Me, the Invisible Autistic Boy was inspired um, by my time in high school where I was being bullied and felt alone and felt like I didn't have a purpose. David's book, which he wrote and illustrated, takes readers on a journey to acceptance. Sharing my story of how I felt invisible until one day, you know, an act of kindness begins to make me feel seen and as each page goes on, more and more body parts are added to me. The last page is me extending a hand to the reader, you know, in my illustrated form, just again saying that you are loved, you are valued, and above all, you are seen. Number seven. He takes the same approach to teaching, making his students feel like whole people, making them feel seen. With him, like if someone like mocks your answer, he doesn't take it lightly and he really like cares. His students care about him too. He makes them want to be better. It's definitely an inspiration because you realize how much he's overcome and if he can do it, then anyone can. I think that's the part where having special needs and being a teacher actually comes into an advantage because knowing that I learn differently. If I were a student, I would feel so safe in your classroom. Do you know what I mean by that? Because sometimes learning can be intimidating, right? That's what I always aspire to. Not just a safe space for learning, but just for anyone, regardless of background. You need to just know that there's someone in their corner who wants to lift them up and not tear them down. The symbol of autism is a puzzle piece representing the complexity of the spectrum. And while we, as someone with autism, may be missing that one puzzle piece, I like to think that for me, it leaves me open to just welcome as many people as I can on this journey of life to lift them up and to assure them of their value. In David's own eloquent words, you are beautiful, you matter, you deserve all the good in this world, and just like me, you are seen. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News. You are loved, you matter, and mm, you are seen. seen. I love that. Yeah, very I nice. hope you do too, it really is. David tells us having Neuro's diverse role models goes a long way in finding acceptance. And he plans to keep paving the way to inspire others just like him. To find out how to get a copy of David's book, head to WKYC.com for a link. Really nice story. We've done stories with him before. Always inspiring. He is. Certainly. So many of us. Yeah.